Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna do a speed test and a camera test between the Galaxy S6 versus the iPhone uh, 6S, the uh, gold variant, gold color variant. So I'm just gonna quickly start off from the uh, from the speed test number one, which is the um, boot up test. So I'm just gonna quickly power both these two phones on. So uh, Galaxy S6 is on 5.1.1 Lollipop, the iPhone 6S is on the iOS 9.0.2, both are completely stock, I'm, I haven't even jailbreak uh, this one, so I'll make a video separate for the jailbreak, so as you can see iPhone 6S wins the race, and I need to enter my passcode, and that's it, and then we have the Galaxy S6, so you can also watch my comparison that I did with the Note 5 so uh, round one winner is the iphone 6s uh, so in terms of uh, the specification we got three gigs of ram here versus two gigs of ram we also have a exynos 7420 chipset here uh what's this apple a9 which is a dual core chipset uh, so both are pretty awesome in terms of uh, the specification at least on paper um also in general look wise you're not going to notice any lag or any slowdowns or anything like that both are really fast so i'm just going to quickly close everything in the background so that we can start off a small apps opening test here so so I'm just going to start with the really basic applications. Uh, first, we'll start off from phone dialer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do a little bit more in depth. Something like a, a game. So Subway Surfer. Here we go. Okay, so iPhone 6s is the winner here. Um, let's open up Temple Run. Let's see. And okay, so it seems like iPhone 6s was slightly faster there again. Um, let's go back. As you can see, home button speed is kind of same on both of these devices. However, you can make your Galaxy S6 faster by, you know, messing up with the animations and all that. Um, and um, and also, let's just check out Viber. Uh, here we go. So Galaxy S6 was faster this time. Uh, Twitter. And then we got the Instagram here we go almost at the same time so you can see there's not like a major difference between these two devices um, Guardian application almost at the same time now let's open some system based application like calculator um, we can try opening up the settings from the application here. Here we go. Pretty similar. Uh, gallery versus the photos. So I'm just going to go into default apps here for photos. So you can see really, really similar. So I got a couple of photos here captured on both devices. And I don't have SIM card uh, on any of these two phones. So keep that in mind. I'm keeping everything equal. Uh, so let's open the camera. Okay, so that was the speed test, and and like I said, I really care about the real life test, uh, which is of course the applications and all that. But yeah, um, we should also have to compare them in terms of the benchmarks, which are also some fun numbers to see. So I'm just gonna quickly open these applications here. Uh, okay, so I personally got the score of 58,425, so I'm just going to test it um, again. So, enable 64-bit, um, settings, and okay, so I need to install this 64-bit version of the benchmark app, and done. And I'm just going to quickly start the test here. So keep that in mind that everything is opened up in the background so it's a pretty equal test and we'll come back when it's done 
So guys, both of these two devices are done and we got a score of 58,132 on the iPhone 6S uh, versus uh, the score of 63,758 on the Galaxy S6. So of course, S6 is a clear winner in terms of benchmark. And, um, and let me tell you one thing is that benchmark are still numbers. Uh, so uh, whenever you have to buy a device, uh, even if it's, it's, it's an iPhone or a Galaxy phone, whatever, uh, just take a look at the real life performance, how the phone performs in terms of real life tests like apps and all that. So, uh, and in that test, both were pretty equal. In some tests, iPhone 6s was faster. In some tests, the Galaxy S6 was faster. So, uh, we'll take a detailed look here if we check out the. Um, test and details and uh, we get a 3d score of 24,232 uh, versus uh, the 3d score over here is uh, 19,949 so which means of course the the GPU is really powerful uh, as compared to the Galaxy S6 GPU which is Meli T628 uh, over here we got the G4 a Power VR G7600 series, uh, I think, but it's it's the Power VR series GPU and it's really fast. Uh, like always, we'll have the top of the type performance in terms of gaming on the new iPhones uh, every year, so it's not different this time. So yeah, that was the benchmark. Galaxy S6 wins it, and also uh, one more important thing is that the S6 has this 5.1 inch screen Quad HD, so it's pushing a lot of pixels there. So that's also going to uh, play an important part as compared to the iPhone 6s, which has a resolution of uh, 1330 something. I mean, it's not even 720p. So yeah, uh, there are far more or less pixels over here. Taking a look at the camera on both of these two devices, the Galaxy S6 comes with a 16 megapixel sensor, while the iPhone 6s comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. Now, the thing that I've noticed with the iPhone 6s is that it has a really nice, bright pictures uh, in low light conditions, as compared to phones like S6 and Note 5. Um, of course, it's going to be fun to compare this camera to phones like LG G4, and uh, I already did a comparison with the Note. 5 you can check the low light chart that I actually featured there so um, and also as you can see this is how the camera app looks like uh, in terms of the camera app uh, software look and all that iPhone 6s definitely feels um, you can say a little bit more straightforward or easier to use I mean like you just gonna quickly uh, just have to just quickly swipe here and there to check out different modes so it's like really really simple really neatly made app camera app that anyone uh, who haven't used an iPhone before can use it uh, while well, on the other hand the Galaxy S6 also has a pretty awesome camera app but uh, it's not that much of uh, a, you know a user or easy as uh, easy for those people who haven't uh, first uh, used it and then also you can see uh, we got ton of options like the focus live broadcast fast motion video recording that's also not available on the iPhone 6s uh, pro mode which is actually pretty awesome because this will going to allow you to change the ISO and all the other stuff if you are into camera stuff and all that you can just have it on the pro or otherwise just have it on the auto uh, also both can record up to 4k video recording uh, and also um, and also both can also record up to 1080p and then uh, on the 60 and 30 fps so we're just going to take a look at some of the camera samples and uh, side by side recording that i did uh, so we'll come back and see how both of these two phones will stack up against in terms of the side by side test
So that's it for this video. Make sure you comment down below uh, who you think is the real winner. Is it the iPhone 6S or the Galaxy S6? Comment below and also give a reason uh, why you should think that the iPhone 6S or the S6 is better and, um, and vice versa and all that. So yeah, make sure you also click the subscribe button down below so that uh, you will get notified by uh, me when I will upload uh, the content on this channel. You'll be notified. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and it's it's for your own good and i'll see you guys in the next one